The 2024 NHL trade line is a month away, and we got some pretty good goalies available. Jacob Markstrom, John Gibson, Jake Allen, but one of the best goalies in the entire NHL was just made available. The National Predators have put UC Soros on the block, and this completely changes everything. But what can the National Predators be seeking in a Soros trade? What could a Soros trade look like, and how much could it cost your team to end up trading for him? Well, watch till the end because we're going to be breaking down all the news and all the latest trade rumors. And hit that subscribe button if you're new for more hockey and trade content just like this as we lead up to the deadline next month. Now, we got a lot to talk about with Soros and what can happen next. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor in BetUS. With 24-7 customer service and payouts, as well as an 125% bonus on your first three deposits, BetUS is the best place to be in both Canada and the U.S. Now, for tonight's initial action, there's actually a few games here that I'm pretty interested in. Colorado plus 105 against Tampa. I like those odds on the road. You also got the Blues versus the Oilers. St. Louis has been really hot as of late, and I think Edmonton might get a surprised a little bit by St. Louis and then I got Chicago over Pittsburgh with Bedard's debut coming back after his injury and Pittsburgh's cold streakiness recently I think Chicago could pull off a pretty big upset here and of course we got to check up on the unique NHL specials and right now they got one going for Nathan McKinnon to record one plus point in all 41 home games he's done it through 25 games so far and he's been so good at home that it's honestly hard to bet against him at plus a thousand that's not too bad if you guys want to try bet us and of course bet on hockey as well as every single sport out there go in the description click on the link and you'll get a 125% bonus on your first three deposits. A heck of a deal there. And thank you so much to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. Now let's talk about UC Soros now in trade rumors. And he now probably instantly becomes the best player available at this NHL trade deadline. We talked about Casey Middlestat being brought out into trade rumors a couple of days ago. But now if UC Soros not only is the, the best goalie, but maybe the most expensive asset on the market for a very good reason. At 28 years old, Soros is in the prime of his career still. And even though this year has been a little bit of a disappointment, last season in the second half, he was a Vesna caliber goaltender. He was unbelievable for Nashville. And really the main reason why Nashville hasn't swept away with a playoff spot so far is because of Soros' kind of average play. He was absolutely electric these past few seasons, but this year he's been a little bit more average, a little bit more inconsistent. And he usually starts the seasons off a little bit lackluster and catches fire in the second half. But so far, we haven't really seen that. And right now he's still stuck with a 903 save percentage through 42 games. It's certainly not horrible, but I think Soros is definitely in a position where he's kind of just gotten past Nashville right now. It feels like his mind is somewhere else at the moment. And with his $5 million cap it for this year and next, he becomes one of the best contracts available as well. I mean, if you're able to get that, you don't even have to retain salary. It's already a steal of a contract getting a player like that at $5 million, especially of what we know Soros can be. But that's just the thing. It's not about what Soros has been this year because Nashville has been pretty good around him, especially offensively, they've been really underrated and players like Ryan O'Reilly and Philip Forsberg have been carrying the load in a big way. But in Soros's case, if he was at the level he was last year, again, Nashville would be pretty cleanly in a playoff spot. He just hasn't been up to that level on a consistent basis. And unfortunately for Nashville, that's kind of set them back a little bit. But as has been reported, Nashville is kind of in this weird retooling direction where they're still trying to get a little bit younger, but still trying to contend in the same direction. But even though they do potentially want to trade Soros, they're not going to do it just because. We've heard the trade price for Soros, and it is pretty nutty. Now, what's interesting about that trade price going around, and this was an interesting article from Pucks and Pitchforks who focus on the Devils, talking about what it would take for the Devils to acquire a player like Soros, saying that it would be a Dawson Mercer or a Simone Metz type of piece. And honestly, it's not all that surprising. If the Predators are going to trade Soros, especially with another year left on his contract, they would need to have a massive haul back. Not only would they probably need another goaltender unless they're going to give a scare of all this responsibility immediately, they would also need significant young pieces. That's what Nashville is training towards. That would, that's what really what they crave. And especially in the case of a Mercer and a Mets who's already playing in the NHL and already established and already playing well, that's exactly the type of player Nashville is looking for here. I think they would take prospects and picks, but I think more likely the big piece they'd want in a Soros trade would be in a Mets, would be a Mercer, somebody that can play immediately and show some promise. Now they mentioned Dawson Mercer, which would be a really great add for the Nashville Predators. They were able to make it happen after a really slow start of the season. He's still rebounding 
rebounded well, got 15 goals, 26 points so far after a great 56 point season last year. But this is a guy that's been consistent, has been steady besides the first half of this year, and will be an excellent top six smart player for the Predators to acquire exactly who I think they'd be targeting. But that's if the Predators end up shying away from the Simone Mets, which I don't see happening. Honestly, I could see a situation where Nashville is just absolutely hell bent on getting this type of player in the Mets, this type of absolute stud on the back end. And for Nashville, they have all the leverage. They have no reason to trade Soros immediately. They could wait until next year, trade into somebody else. If they want Simone de Metz, they honestly might not get Simone de Metz, but they're going to put that asking price out there and really stick with it. We've heard as well from Barry Trotz, of course, general manager of this Predators roster of just how much Soros could be available, but also how that right price needs to come. And especially for the Devils, it's a tricky situation where so many goaltenders have been overpriced and would be an overpayment for New Jersey to acquire, but they need some stability here. Soros could be a really interesting ad for a Devils team that needs some consistency, not just for this year, but the next as well. And even though he hasn't been that great this season, I think in New Jersey system in a new situation, Soros could be incredible. But if the National Predators are hell-bent on getting a Simone Nemetz, then I just don't see how New Jersey can make that deal, especially with how elite Nemetz has already looked for New Jersey, especially this season where he's played 31 games, getting 14 points. He has looked incredible and so fluid and so solid already offensively. This is a player that you cannot afford to give up. Even if New Jersey's defense has some good names already there, I got Luke Hughes. Nemetz is just so good that there's no possible way they could trade him. But if it is a Dawson Mercer, it probably wouldn't just be a Dawson Mercer. It might have to be a first round pick on top of that. It might have to be another NHL or something like that. Maybe they bring back Vidic Vanacek or something. I don't know exactly what the details would be, especially in New Jersey's case, but it would have to include more pieces on top of that, which for New Jersey would be a tough pill to swallow. But I also want to mention where this was coming from in the first place, talking about Soros potentially moving. Elliot Freeman on the Jeff Merrick show said this, I just believe there's been enough noise out there to believe that Nashville is considering it. They're not writing off the idea that they would do it. Nashville's looking for offense. They're looking for a high-end offensive player there. Now goes on to say, this is just me spitballing, but I wonder about a guy like Natchez. I think Carolina is going to have a challenge to get an extension done after the season. Just on paper, I could look at it and say that there is a need for both teams. Now, that would be fascinating considering that we know the potential of Marty Natchez. We know just how good he can be. And there's been a lot of inconsistencies. There's been a lot of frustrating moments, obviously, but that would be a high-end offensive player Nashville could really covet. I mean, we've been talking about Carolina and going after goaltenders for practically years now, and they've always been kind of complacent in that projection. Getting a player like Soros would honestly put them over the top for me, even though there would be some concerns still with the top end scoring. Literally, if they got Soros, I wouldn't even care. They might be my cup pick, honestly. But in the case of training a player like Natchez, that is such a poor core part of that offense, especially when they've already had offensive concerns. They already have problems with that top end scoring. Getting rid of Natchez would really be a huge blow. But really, when we look at the criteria that we were talking about with Nashville looking for a fo young forward in a UC Soros trade, really the only one in Nashville system that fits that bill besides Natchez is a Seth Jarvis. And for Carolina, there is no reason to trade Seth Jarvis with just how good he has been. And in the system, there's not really anybody knocking on the door completely. Brady Lee Doe is their best forward prospect, but he's probably still a few years away for Nashville. And I think, that, again, they'd want somebody more available, more ready to play NHL games. Now, maybe they don't want to go after a forward, and maybe they go after top end defensive prospect Alexander Nikishin, which could be an interesting thread in this case if maybe Carolina doesn't highly prioritize him. But he was the third round pick back in 2020, and he has been developing incredibly in the KHL points wise. I mean, he just continues to be an absolutely dominant player. Maybe that's a player that Nashville wants. We know, of course, they're not afraid to take on Russian prospects. Nikishin would be pretty nuts. But again, we're probably talking about Nikishin and like a first round pick on top of it. That's how much a UC Soros trade would affect any team he goes to and even though I think he has the potential to be up to that level it's a big gamble still he hasn't been that great this year the inconsistencies have been there and even though there is a stigma against it smaller goaltenders could have some trouble in the playoffs I mean there is always that stigma especially with NHL GMs that's why so many bigger guys get drafted a lot earlier but in Saros's case this is still an elite goaltender in my eyes and still a guy that on a contender could do a lot of good if he goes in Carolina's system 
it's over. But again, time and time again, that price becomes the major problem. Even though that contract is a steal now at $5 million, I think if Soros maybe had a year or two left on that deal, I think a lot of teams would be even more likely to give up this massive, insane trade package for him. But I think considering he only has a year and a half left on his deal, and there is some worries after that fact, maybe there are teams that are a little bit more scared to give up, you know, a Simone Nemetz or a Dawson Mercer or an unreal forward piece. That's really the big thing that I think might keep a Soros trade from happening is just the astronomical asking price that sure nashville deservedly has but also is going to create a lot of problems here now there obviously is the chance that sorrows could be dealt at this year's deadline but i do think considering his next year on that deal it's a little bit more likely that we do see an off-season trade with sorrows if there's anything there and especially towards the draft i think there are a lot of teams in the back end with some pretty good picks here that would want a goaltending upgrade I did want to mention the Ottawa Sanders here, who I think would be a really fascinating addition if they were to get a Soros trade completed. It would happen towards the draft. And I think, honestly, considering they have that first round pick, which is looking pretty good right now, I think that could be a major trade piece in a Soros deal. You might not have to trade that much more on top of that. Maybe one other younger player. I'm not sure what it would look like. But for Ottawa, that could be a piece that could get the deal over the top. And you look at where Ottawa is projecting right now, right now having the fifth overall pick, that would be, I think, a pretty perfect pick for the Preds to go after. You could get maybe a defenseman on that. Maybe you could get a forward like an Ivan Demidov, and maybe they come away with an Ivan Demidov and an Eric Brandstrom in a Sens trade for Soros. Something like that where I think Nashville would get major value, even if it's not a younger player now. We'll see. I mean, maybe Nashville prioritizes a first rounder next year and maybe a player like a Shane Pinto or something. There are a lot of options here that I mean Nashville could explore, especially in Ottawa's case that could be pretty fascinating. Now, going on to the last team I wanted to mention in the Sorrow sweepstakes, especially if we're talking about off-season trades, to me, a team that makes so much sense, at least for the next year and a half, is actually the Buffalo Sabres. Now, again, some people might say that Levi, you know, he, he could be a guy that could be ready, but at the same time, I think you might want to give maybe one more year of him away, and if Buffalo is, of course, really wanting to go for it next year, really wanting to prove something next year, you could have a Soros going back, maybe you end up trading Uka Pekalukunen, who's looked really good as of late, maybe he could bring some value to Nashville system. Them. And of course, Buffalo has a plethora of younger players on the on the books, on the deals that could be NHL guys that Nashville could look for. Now, the again, the only concern is how much do you want to kind of log jam Buffalo's goaltending? But again, even though Uku Pekalukunen has been really good as of late, we've seen how there's been some inconsistencies with the tandem this year. Maybe it's better next season when both of those guys are a little older. But at the same time, if they're really trying to compete here, maybe adding a D, going after Soros, Buffalo is going to be a wild team this time offseason with just how many moves they can make Soros could be a really interesting ad there but I love Soros man I always have and I think if we do see a Soros trade I'm just hoping that he's happy wherever he goes and he finally can go to a team that can really push things further really get him into the playoffs and bring a great team around him I think Soros is a great goaltender that had to carry Nashville a lot of ways the past few years but he deserves so much more than that he deserves a system that can really cater to him and really get the best out of him and I think if he gets that Soros will be once again back among the best NHL goalies in no time. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of a potential Soros trade? How likely do you think it is? Do you think we see it at the deadline? Do you think we see it in the offseason? And which teams do you think go after? What do you think a Soros trade could actually look like either? What do you see the assets going back to Nashville being? Of course, let us know all your thoughts down below. And of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you guys haven't already. And share the video with all the hockey fans you guys know online to get all the trade details out there. And click on this card for my trade content right in one playlist. My name is Nathan, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great hockey day. And goodbye.